numerous sobriety tests that they tried to give him. He failed every one of them. But he claims he only had one martini and was simply trying to, <laughs> to follow a friend's home. This, of course, in the uh, police yeah. write-up. Just a bad look for Justin Timberlake, who otherwise is, go is going on this sold-out tour right now. Well, you see the mugshot, which, by the way, God, it's not fair you can look that handsome in a mugshot. His eyes are just they're on They're so one. blue, I know. but I think they're a and little so, glassy. And so glassy yeah. at the same time. <laughs> That's why it's so funny that he said, I had one martini, because you look at his eyes and you go, okay, sure you did. Sure you did, buddy. Megan, didn't you make the point that the cop didn't even know, or said he didn't even know yeah. that this was Justin Timberlake? I was reading somewhere that the cop that pulled him over was so young that he had no idea who Justin Timberlake was, no idea who NSYNC was, and I guess Justin said... He just kept saying, this is going to ruin the tour. This is going to ruin the tour. And the cop said, what tour? And he goes, <laughs> oh, my world tour. And had not a clue, which I think is oh. hilarious. He just should have started singing Bye Bye Bye. And maybe it would have sparked Maybe some... it would have clicked. But isn't it you know, funny? It's going to be Meg. You've seen the meme. <laughs> Am I right? Come on. He's like, oh, me. you're the guy from the meme. Imagine the if that's guy. how you recognize him. I did see oh. somebody on Twitter yesterday that said, because there's the the picture of Justin walking out of his arraignment yesterday with his handcuffs on, and somebody said in their caption, "It's gonna be memed," and it had like <laughs> fifty thousand oh, likes. But separately, isn't it interesting how some people can be such in their own world about something where you just assume everybody knows who these people are, Justin Timberlake? But this guy, I can believe he does not follow you know, that life or pop culture music or whatever to not have any idea on a side note. But Justin, separately, I mean, I I don't know what kind of guy he is because I feel like he can maybe be a little bit sloppy. I hate, like, I'm judging him now because we've all had these really stupid moments in life. He has a mugshot. You're allowed but, to judge a little. But, you know, it honestly takes me back to that 2019 story where it was him and his co-star on the balcony of New Orleans where he had way too much to drink again that night. And he made a dumb decision where he was holding his co-star's hand and her leg was on him. And he had actually put out this apology like because he was so embarrassed for his wife and all those things. And I'm like, this is just another kind of impaired decision well, Justin's yeah. making where, you know, after he's been drinking, it's like, dude, instead of following your friend home, you could have just gotten in the car with your Absolutely. friend. Absolutely. And we would not even be talking about it. He does this. give off a little bit of that homecoming king vibe that can't take being sent to the principal's office. But you know that there's a dark side. But you know that there's something there. Because, I mean. Possibly. I don't know. This is not, just not my. Not that he's like a horrible behind person. Behind the scenes theory, you know, I He's guess. not the Trinity killer or something crazy. But, like, there was that moment that you mentioned in New Orleans. And then even the Janet Jackson moment, a lot of people are mad he got off scot-free. Exactly. And then with the Britney stuff, he continues to kind in of his early slide 20s. past any responsibility because. Well, we all love Justin Timberlake. I'm the queen so. of giving people the benefit of the doubt, but yeah. I just feel like, to your point, everything you just mentioned, there's just something underneath the surface that's like, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe, you're, maybe you're not as cool as I thought you were. Yes, exactly. Uh.